another piece on Jefferson Davis, and it made me wonder, how's his son Miles doing? Not good. I've been there. The loss is all you can think about. He needs something to do outside of school. Maybe a part-time job? That's not a bad idea. But it has to be the right job. Something that makes him feel useful, like what he's doing matters. Kind of think you just described Feast. MJ, that's perfect. I'll talk to May about it. That's what I'm here for. MJ's hunch was right. The place is crawling with demons. Gotta take these guys out, then have a look around. Okay, that's all of them. Huh. High security lock. They use these on banks, not recycling centers. Maybe if I can find where it gets its power from. Looks like I could override the circuit. Need my electric webs. Well, that did something. It looks like the circuits need a little more juice. There. Looks like the circuit's still stable. Maybe there's another junction box close by. Gotcha. Almost there. One more box should do it. That's it! from Fisk's armory. Explosives from Fisk's construction site. And lots of high-tech equipment. Maybe later I can recycle this stuff into some weapons of my own. Crazy. These must be where they're planning to attack. Wait, these are Osborne campaign offices. This wasn't a gang war. The demons were stealing from Fisk to go after Mayor Osborne. Hey, did you find Lee? No, but you were right. Lee's using this place as a front for the demons. Bomb making, gun running. Oh my god. And it looks like they're planning another attack. This time on Norman Osborne's campaign offices. We must have some kind of beef with Norman Osborne. I found an address here. I think it's their staging area. If I hurry, I might be able to stop them. Be careful. Yuri, it's me. Make it quick. I'm busy getting yelled at by my boss. Martin Lee and the demons are planning another attack, this time on Norman Osborne's campaign offices. Are you sure? We've had a lot of false leads in the past week. Trust me on this one. I'm sending you the address of a recycling center. You'll find all the evidence there. Got it. I'll get those campaign offices evacuated. But if you're wrong about this, you're gonna help me find a new job.
Consolidated shipping. A lot of guys. I should try to do this quietly, but also with style. I can use that stuff I found at the recycling center. Nice. Love using bad guys' own weapons against them. And that, my friends, is what karmic justice looks like. See that coming. Dreams. Lee's not out here. Better check inside. These guys aren't kidding around. Good thing I stopped this when I did. You could blow up half of Manhattan with this stockpile. Bases all around the city. What else can I find around here? Huh. Invoice from an auto shop. Pale horse rides. That's one expensive tune up. This is bigger than I thought. Looks like the demons have an army. but it was definitely not this. Hey, MJ. I think I stopped the demon's attack on Osborne's campaign offices. Finally. No, but I found something we should look into. A place called Pale Horse Ride. Sounds familiar. 
I'll check it out and get back to you. This is new. No, no, no. This one's mine. All right. I'm executing this son of a... Hey! That's not how we do things. Down! Down! Code SM-1. Whoa, whoa! Before we do this, who the hell are you guys? Code SM-1. Code SM-1. Holding for orders. Copy Code SM-1. I have a visual. Hold for Silverbird. Entrance. Solid eight out of ten. Nine out of ten. Release him. He works with us. Yuri, explanation, please. This is Silver Sablanova, head of Sable International. A private security force. Paid for by Mayor Osborne. Oh, the mayor has a pet army now? Next time you get in my way, I will not be so gentle. Go. We'll talk later. Okay, we're still best buds. We're not best buds. Well, that took a dark turn. Anyway, Sable has the mayor's ear and unchecked authority. We've searched that address you gave me, found plenty of evidence of a bomb plot, but nothing that leads back to Martin Lee. I'm working on that. Hey, MJ. Hey, so I dredged up some records on Martin Lee's other business holdings. He's got places all over the city. Huh, the locations line up with a map I found at that shipping business. I'll check them out. Let me know what you find at each one, and I'll work on building a case. Okay, say hi to May for me. Wait, you don't think she's in danger, do you? No. Lee's only got one target on his mind. Norman Osborne. All units, the mass terrorists are planting a bomb. Reports are coming from Stye Village. Peter. So if you're running this place while Mr. Lee's out of town, who's doing your old job? Uh, me. But I could always use more help. You know anyone? Actually, I do. His name is Miles Morales. Why does that sound familiar? His father was being honored at City Hall. Oh. I talked to him at the funeral. He's a smart kid. He's just having a tough time. I knew a boy like that once. I remember it helped to, uh, stay busy. Might help him, too. Here's his mom's number. Thanks. I'll give her a call. Hey, you haven't heard from Mr. Lee, have you? No, why? I'm just curious. I've got a few minutes before work. I'm gonna look around, see if there's anything else I can do to help you out. Oh, you, you don't have to. I know. I want to. I should check out Lee's office. Need help with those veggies? I learned a long time ago, you're more help staying out of the kitchen than in it.
Hey, I heard you at City Hall for the bombing. You okay? Just a little banged up. How are you doing? Not bad. Your aunt's been helping me with my interview skills. I don't know. I'm not sure I'm cut out for the nine to five. I know I've had my share of career hurdles, but you never know until you try. Give it a shot. You want me to call Mrs. Morales first? I'll be fine. I suspect she'll be relieved to talk to someone who's been there. Appreciate it. Hmm. This office is locked. How do I get in there? Quietly. I don't feel safe in here. Huh. Never seen that room before. Whoa, what the... There. High voltage lines. What needs this much power? I understand, but the account number is in Mr. Lee's office, which is inaccessible. I will call you back as soon as I can get that information. No, I don't know when that will be. room I saw from the crawl space. It should be right on the other side of the shrine. Lee's parents. Looks like there's a keyhole in the frame. I thought Lee's parents abandoned him. Why build a shrine to the people who threw you away? This is the ghost story Lee's father read to him. About a demon that could only be mastered through balance. Lee did so much for New York. I can't believe he was hiding such darkness inside him. Huh. The shrine in the photo is missing the picture. Looks like this note is for May. Lee really did care about May. Hope this means she's out of danger. Lee's journal. Bet this fits the lock in the portrait. Lee sounds conflicted. Almost like he didn't want to head down this path. Hmm. Some kind of puzzle lock. That seems right. Oh, I see. Yes! Whoa. Whoa. 
What are you hiding, Lee? This is all about Norman Osborne. His whole career. Lee must have been obsessed with him. Oscorp lost a lawsuit about improper clinical trials years ago. Did they cover this up? I've never heard of it. He sure is obsessed with masks. Is it a Jungian thing? Like, he needed to pretend to be someone else to let his darkest feelings out? Pretended to be a demon, until he became one. He's giving his powers to the others. How does Lee imbue these with his power? Bioelectric induction? Compressed phase shift? This is the folder MJ found at the auction house. This might help us figure out what Lee's planning next. Phew. It's a burn room, wired to destroy evidence. One more. Police had found this. Or May. Don't want to think of what could have happened. <clears throat> now, how do I get out of here? Peter. Mr. Lee. I thought you were out of town. Did you find what you were looking for? Martin, you're back. Can get that. Thank you. And heading off again shortly, I'm afraid. Just needed a few things from my office. You must have heard about City Hall. Yes. Tragic. Peter was there. He was very lucky. And an Osborne rally. I didn't know you were a fan. Well, what matters is, you are both safe. Amen. But the bombers are still out there. Who knows what they've planned next? Oh, I don't think you or May have anything to worry about. As long as you stay away from places you're not supposed to be. Well, I should go. When will you be back? When my work is done. Wait, wait, wait! What the? I finally got your evidence. 
Head to the Feast Center in Chinatown. What am I going to find? A nice lady named Mae Parker. There's some really weird stuff hidden in Lee's office. But listen, he's got another attack planned. Where? When? Still working on that, but I think he's going to use something called Devil's Breath. It sounds destructive. What is it? A substance created by Oscorp. Probably a bioweapon of some kind. I have a folder full of info on it. I'm holding on to it for now. I'll send copies as soon as I can. Okay, we'll check his office. If the evidence stands up, I'll put out an APB. MJ, hey, just checking in. Peter, hey, can I call you back? I think you'll want to hear this. Wait, why are you whispering? Just in the middle of something. How about we catch up over dinner? My place? Oh, sure. I'll even cook. Cool. See ya. Wait. Remember how you told me about Lee's corrupting touch? I think I just saw it in action. How? Some perfectly nice homeless people just jumped me. Thing is, they had glowing eyes. And I remembered Yuri telling me something similar about the guard who released Shocker. So Shocker was working for Lee? Uh, it's all connected. There's more. But I guess we'll talk about it at dinner. Yeah. See ya. Dinner? <sighs> what should I cook? Oh, hi, Doctor. How are you? Parker! Exciting news! Come by the lab! Uh, like, now? This is my divining moment. Can't wait to show you. Cool! Um, I've got dinner plans. Can I come by later? Dinner can wait. You need to see this, Peter. Uh, okay. I'll be right there. Howard, long time no see. How's Pidgey doing? He's a little down today. Misses his cousins. Been a bit of a whirlwind for both of us. Owners of my building, rezoned for commercial. We had to move into Feast to get our bearings. I'm so sorry. New York landlords can really be heartless. When they kicked me out of my place, they set all my birds loose. Pidgey's the only one who found me. I've been looking everywhere for the rest of them, but with my bad leg and all... You know what? I'd get around. How about I keep an eye out for him? You do that? Oh, thank you. If you have any luck, please give me a call. Hey, Doctor. Hello, Peter. I'll be just a minute. Wow. Look at all this new stuff. Our first volunteer subject, Lance Corporal Texador. Lost his arm overseas and now just wants to hug his daughter again. Where did you get all this equipment? Called in every last favor. Took out a few loans. It's like we're starting over once again. But this time's going to be different. Man, I remember the first day I interviewed here. Showed up with stains on my shirt, ten minutes late from stopping a mugging. Still can't believe Doc hired me. He doesn't regret it now. Hmm. Interesting method of structural reinforcement. In some sad, sick way, the City Hall attack may have done some good. Norman's approval ratings are sinking. The people are starting to realize their beloved mayor only cares about himself. Sometimes it takes a tragedy to wake people up to the truth to finally see the monster they themselves elected.
Wish Doc wouldn't fixate on Norman like this. You've been busy. Just getting started. You know, until now, we've been looking at prosthetics from the wrong perspective. Why restore people to what they were when we can make them better? Okay, I think that should do it. You ready? Everything okay? Damn it! This is all your fault, Norman, you son of a... Well, I know who you're not voting for in the next election. Sorry. I uh, have a habit of making bad jokes in tense situations. <laughs> uh, it was a good joke, Parker. Just a bit of an overreaction on my part. No, don't worry. Uh, why don't you take a break? I'll, uh, I'll clean this up and uh, get us ready for another test. So, uh, hope you don't mind me asking, but it seems you and Norman have a bit of a history. We were lab partners in college. Became friends. Decided to start a business. We both had visions of changing the world just in different ways. Wait, you were at Oscorp when it started? I'm half the reason it's called Oscorp. In grad school, everyone called us the O's. <sighs> Add Corp to that, and well, it is a catchy name. Well, why'd you leave? Norman became more and more obsessed with genetics. He started a project I considered unethical. And there was this... Anyway, lawyers got involved. I chose to leave in exchange for a settlement. But that money didn't last very long. I've relied on grants ever since. If this project doesn't work... Don't worry. It'll work. Uh, let, me, let me just fix this up. I'll brew some fresh coffee. Be sure to run a diagnostic on the control unit. Could be a short. Huh. No good. Gotta reroute this circuit. Oh, why don't you do the honors this time? I think we did it. Next step, neural interface. That's a lot of work for you to do by yourself. You sure you can handle it? Apparently not, judging by today's debacle. Because I still haven't found another job. My funds are still... I know. It's okay. Don't worry, I'll figure it out. What's a few bucks when you're trying to change the world, right? To changing the world.
Last call from MJ. Doctor, I need to go, but I'll be back later. Don't worry, the work will still be here when you get back. Lots of late nights in this lab. Glad Doc keeps the snacks stocked up. We should get more of those little cheese squares, though. What's that? Wonder if I could 3D print a web shooter. Can't believe I've never tried that. What is this stuff, Doc? Looks like armored plating. Defense prototypes. Fascinating, really. Ames requested a number of samples of my work. Who am I to deny that my genius? Ha! Ah, kidding, of course. Doc's working on some kind of advanced hypodermic delivery system. Maybe to help with implant rejection? I don't know, that's a big needle. Wait, is this the raft? Are you doing work for the Supermax prison? Indeed. They're soliciting bids to modernize their security grid. Figured I'd try my hand. Lucrative contract, and a satisfyingly difficult nut to crack. Parker, we've been focused on limb replacement. Connecting nerves at severed extremities, replicating the function of lost appendages. But what if instead, we gave people something they've never seen? Something straight from the mind. Unchain all of us from the bodies we've been born with, and instead, unleash the awesome power of our minds. Advanced idea mechanics. Doc, are you sure it's a good idea to accept grants from AIM? Their rep is pretty shady. Beggars can't be choosers, Peter. Once we're on our feet, we'll reevaluate our funding partners. Doc really does want to imagine a better version of man. Neural interface would be a big step, Doc. Big, yes, but essential. If our prosthesis is anything less than effortless to use, we'll have failed. We'll get there, Peter. We have to. Really glad Doc let me store things here after the whole eviction thing. Oh, Peter! I noticed you keep track of Spider-Man's foes. Smart. Easier to craft countermeasures that way. Sorry I missed your call. We still on for dinner? Dinner? Oh, yeah. I was calling you about something else, but... Yeah, we should talk over dinner. Offer still stands for me to come over and cook. Oh, really? Well, I like to take risks. I'm still out, but I'll grab some stuff at the store and let you know when I'm home. Okay, talk soon. All right, dinner at MJ's. No expectations. It's gonna be hard to screw this one up. Guess I'll just freelance for a while until she calls. Okay, be careful in here, Pete. This station analyzes hazardous chemicals. Basically trying to figure out how to counteract them if they ever got out into the world, which <clears throat> Hopefully They never will Oh No, someone broke in and stole a volatile rocket propellant and They must have cracked the container because it's leaking From the timestamp on the security cameras. It just happened. I need to get it back My spider bots are still just prototypes, but this is a good time to test one his sensors can follow the chemical trail. Better than me swinging up on the thief. If he freaks out and drops the hydrazine, he'll blow up half a block. Gotta find a quiet... Okay, little guy. Let's find where the chemical dripped and vacuum it up. 
before it makes someone sick. Not only is Minnie me cleaning up the spills, it's leading me right to the thief. Thieves hiding in crowds. I'll disperse him with a subsonic blast. Won't hurt anyone, but it's super annoying. Lucky this stuff's only dangerous over a long exposure. Or if it combusts. Maybe. Maybe not. End of the trail. He's in this crowd. Time to smoke him out. He's running. Gotta wrap him up with a web burst. Got him. Now to get the fuel back. Got it. Now I just need to return the fuel to the station. This little spider bot's useful. If I can ever find a way to make him cost effective, they'd be a big help. Chemicals back where it belongs, I beefed up the station's security, and sent Yuri the camera footage to convict the thief. Not a bad day's work. This is one station that was already earning its keep. It should be safe from being shut down, especially now that the chemicals are locked away. Hey, MJ. All right, I picked up a bunch of stuff at the store. Can't wait to see what you come up with. Swinging over now. Prepare to be amazed. You're not gonna believe what happened. So you know that address you gave me? I went there. MJ. I know, I know, but wait. What is this? Just listen. This is the address Pete found. Men are all carrying firearms. What is this place? Might be something inside that connects this to Lee. Need to get back there. Huh? What was that? What dumbass can't put their shit away? Bet it was happy. Martin Lee's really paying the boss? Yeah. Yo, Rick! We built this war base for Lee. He finances the boss's new mission. Need to get into that office. Well, you better clean your flag off that. What are they building? Dad, Is this all for Lee? You tried any yet? Careful. Am I hearing things? The easy does it. What kind of vehicle Man, needs tires this paranoid. big? Where is it? I swear I left it over here. What is this? Some kind of military hardware? Hey, Office must be to my right. Need to move careful through here.
Those barrels seem important. Alchemax. Why is that so familiar? What's in these? Boss, come on! We'll never notice! Tombstone. You're right, Rick. <gasps> won't notice? <gasps> Cause it won't be there. Such a disappointment. <clears throat> and now I need a new welder. This is what they're building for Lee. But why does he need an armored vehicle? Here we go. GPS trackers. What is Tombstone using these for? All right, boys. Time to move. Get the gear from my office. Time to go. Okay, I want to say don't ever do that again, but since I know you're going to anyway, here. Take a few of those next time. Nice. Thanks. You know Tombstone is crazy and pretty much invincible, right? Everybody has their weakness. Mine is... whatever you're cooking right now. <laughs> it smells amazing. The chicken curry. Uh, just needs some time to simmer. No dumplings, I hope. You're never gonna let me live that one down, are you? Nope. <laughs> the Great Dumpling Catastrophe. I still can't believe they evacuated the entire building. I know, and in January, too. <laughs> Your neighbors hated me. Yeah, they were pretty happy when we broke up. <laughs> yeah. So, let's talk about what you found in Lee's office. Well, Lee clearly has issues with Norman Osborne. Yeah, but, but why? I don't know yet. But his next move looks like it involves devil's breath, whatever that is. Yeah, I'll dig into it. So I was thinking, what if we teamed up? Wait, what, you want to be my sidekick? Like a uh, spider girl? Spider woman. No. Woman. No, not a sidekick. A partner. Oh. Not again. Ah. Hey, it's your crime system thingy. Looks like a residential break-in. <laughs> Charles Standish. Hmm. That sounds familiar. Oh, Oscorp CFO. Wait. You don't think this has anything to do with Lee, do you? Sorry to cook and run. Did... Did you just leave your clothes on the kitchen floor? Uh... Where, where do you want me to, uh... Just Couch is fine. <laughs> yeah. See you later. Yeah. Hey, it's me. This curry is legit. So what do we know about Charles Standish? Let's see. 
Chief Financial Officer at Oscorp, single, known for his art collection. If Lee's after him, it's got to be related to Devil's Breath. I'll run a search on everything in that file. Let me know the second you find something. I think Lee might be planning something even worse than City Hall. So, are we partners now? Because it sure feels like we are. Partners? Uh, sounds good. Okay. See ya, partner.